recent student demonstrations at colleges, campuses against Miles Yiannopoulos, which was here, and others should be understood as an attempt to ensure the conditions of free speech for a greater group of people rather than censorship. When those views invalidate the humanity of some people, they restrict speech as a public good. Do you think models should have been allowed to come to uh, campus? Yes. Speak? You do. Um, and what should the school have done with regard to the protest against him, which broke windows and cost the school $100,000 in debt? You realize that the $100,000 that the school spends eventually comes down to your pockets because it's going to result in an increase in your cost of tuition. So are you prepared to spend that money so that Miles gets to speak? Yes. I definitely think that you need to protect the speaker um, by maintaining the crowd and by making sure it doesn't become violent. Um, I think that because a lot of students on this campus, or even not students on this campus, are scared to hear what he had to say and didn't want to hear what he had to say. And based off of you know past precedent, think that by protesting or rioting or whatnot that they can stop him from speaking. And I think that like no matter what he's saying, he has the right to say it. If his speech or a Nazi speech or somebody else's speech makes you as an individual feel threatened, upset, victimize the object of violence either from your neighbors or the government isn't that a violation of the trust that the university has implicitly told you come here and we will give you the opportunity to learn and protect you from this kind of stuff well but that's not the point of the university i mean does that mean that, you can, that the university can censor the kinds of readings that you get i'm asking that's the question well, no i mean it's not permissible because i mean the university i mean they're in the case it was big fish versus University of Missouri, and then the other case involving involving the college Republicans at SFSU. It's like this is university. I mean, remember when you're choosing to be here? It's not like secondary education. This is higher education. This is not compulsory. I think the point of the university is to engage with an idea, um, like from a critical standpoint, and have a discussion and have like a, a productive debate. But certain views of like an obviously racist degree like that have no intellectual merit and cannot be engaged with like in a college classroom or like just to say that a Muslim does not have any purpose here is so ruinous to someone's sense of self-worth that it just it doesn't belong in terms of just like a university. I'm Milo's. I'm Milo's. And I get invited to speak. And I come up on the stage and I'm speaking or I'm Spencer and I get invited and I get up on the stage and speak. And hundreds of students are screaming and yelling so that I cannot communicate or cursing at me or the people who are as they've done in other campuses. And the government sits there and says, well, you know, speech is speech is speech. You're really allowing a heckler's veto. And the question is, is I have a First Amendment right to speak. I have a First Amendment right to express an opinion. The government, through its inaction, is not allowing me to exercise that right. What is the right power of the government? One could argue, and I get the argument, that as long as it's just words, it's a, it's a competition of words, it's just we're not going to be. I get the argument. My question is, is that what you want the government to do or not? That's the question. Well, That's no, not no, the no. answer. In regards to the first time that Congress shall make no law, and so, I mean, yeah, I mean, too bad. You just gotta, the state has to just sort of, you know, hands off. Like, let the heck with me to go. I think the government needs to, they need to step in because it's not just, it's not just verbal speech. It's not just like a conversation. It's, it's going to incite violence. We know it's going to do that. So, and then the government's job is to stop the speech, not stop the violence. Um, yes, because I think the speech and, and the government and the violence are immediately related. These speakers are horrible, and what they have to say is oftentimes to incite, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be allowed to say it. And also, I think that like the idea that the government should be allowed to draw the line on what content you can say and you cannot say, it can't be made. And because it can't be made, you cannot side on the side that's like, you know, overly cautious.